Hey guys, Dave the NC Picker here. How is it going? I am, you know, okay. <laughs> I've been traveling and I'm home, thankfully. I'm very excited to be home because in the last 14 days I've been home like five. Uh, so it's nice to get home. I've been traveling for my day job. But now that I'm actually here, I can start focusing some more on eBay in my off time. The problem with travel is when you finish work for the day, you can't go back and list items. You can't ship your eBay orders. You can't look up things, stuff like that. You can't do any of that, right? You can't even really source unless your shift ends early enough and you can find a thrift store that's still open. But anyways, I have not had much luck doing my eBay side gig while doing all this travel. But anyways, so now I'm back. Now it's time to get some eBay ketchup. Uh, I did actually sell quite a bit while in vacation mode in California. Uh, I have 19 orders to pull, so not too bad. But that is from, uh, what, Tuesday night is when I pulled last, and it's now Monday morning. So yeah, I mean, I took today off. Although I feel like I'm going to probably have to jump on at least one work meeting at 4. But uh, just to catch up because I've been traveling so much, but the rest of the day, I think I'm just gonna be off all day so I can kind of relax, catch up. I'm still pretty jet lagged. I woke up really late for me, like 9 a.m. Eastern, which is, you know, only 6 a.m. in California. And normally I wake up at like seven, so I'm not really adjusted yet. I had trouble falling asleep, unsurprisingly, because again, I'm in bed at midnight, but it's really only like nine in Cal. Anyways, so that's the struggle today is just kind of exhaustion from the travel, from the long flights, from all that stuff. I did make some people mad in my last NC Picker video. We'll talk about that for a minute. And let's just get started by pulling this order in SD5 because it's right next to me. So it'll be easy to pull. Here it is. Messiah on PC. This is a pretty old game, 1995, I think. Something like that. For Windows 95, it came out in 99. And this sold for $9.49 plus shipping. Uh, anything this old is not going to have like a key. So it'll be pretty easy to resell and it should work no problem. Man, I wonder if it's any fun. Next order is upstairs. I don't think I have the energy to walk up and grab it right now. So we'll grab it in a minute. And while we wait for my energy to build, I will run to FL54 and grab something out of there. All right. So where is FL54 is the ultimate question. Because I don't see it. There's 52, 59. Where's 54? Oh, it's going to be in the worst spot, isn't it? Yeah, up here in this corner. So, yeah, while I was in California, I did go see Top Gun for the third time. But this time, I kind of slept through it. It was a weird thing, I'll tell you what. <laughs> First of all, I keep falling asleep in movies. I think that means I'm officially old or officially overdoing it. Uh, but me and my... So I, I wasn't really, like, that interested in going, but my friend really wanted to see it, a co-worker, and he didn't want to go see it alone. A lot of people don't like going to the movies alone. I actually like going to the movies alone. I think it's relaxing. But uh, he didn't want to go see it alone. So I was like, you know what? I'll go with you. No problem. But, you know, I was at a trade show. And a trade show is, if you're not familiar, I think this is it. Yeah, Ray, uh, Black Series, Star Wars. Sold for 12 bucks. So not a very valuable one. I think I have three of those. So they don't, you know... Not great. So at a trade show, what you do is you stand up all day and you talk to customers and show them new products you've created or some sort of concept you have. Think science fair, but where people spend hundreds of thousands of dollars for their science fair booth, if, you, if you're if you not familiar with a trade show. As an exhibitor at a trade show, you end up standing there and saying the same thing over and over and over again to each new customer that walks up. It's really unexciting and quite boring. So. I sold a Radiant Angel audiobook by Nelson DeMille, or DeMille, I'm not sure. Sold that for twi no, five bucks, <laughs> not 12 bucks. Don't get that wrong. So at a trade show, you don't really have time to leave the booth usually. Uh, at least I don't. Uh, so I end up being in the booth all day and not eating because I'm so busy. And we have like, you know, candy bars that we give out and stuff. But I don't want to just eat a candy bar, so I end up eating nothing all day. And I build up this crazy appetite because I stand all day, I talk all day about the products, and then the show ends at 7.30, 7 I think, and it's 7 that first night. And you're just starving, right? You're just so hungry. And so me and this guy, we were like, okay, we're going to go see Top Gun. We'll walk there because it was like downtown Los Angeles and, you know, we didn't want to spend money on an Uber and all that stuff. So, so we walk there and on the way we pass a Fat Burger, which I guess is a fairly popular burger chain in California. I sold Gotcha Man. It's like an anime three-pack VHS. I got these at the flea market. 
Uh, I paid less than a dollar a piece. I think 50 cents or so. I can't remember. I'd have to go watch the video. But anyways, I sold that set for 13 bucks uh, plus shipping. So I got, you know, a little overzealous about food because I was so hungry. So I went way overboard at Fat Burger and I got like their biggest burger and their big fries and I ate them all. I ate everything. I was a very good boy. I cleaned my plate. But because I hadn't eaten all day and that was like the first thing I ate, it was greasy. It made me feel terrible. Absolutely terrible. Like the food was like up here in my chest. Like I couldn't even breathe. Like I had indigestion. It was terrible. And so I get to the movie and I'm like more focused on not like dying. Because <laughs> I get anxiety too. If I have any symptom, I think it's something dreadful. And uh, so I'm just like totally distracted in the Tom Cruise uh, Top Gun movie for the third time. So I didn't really enjoy it this time. But that's just because health wise I felt terrible. And you know, they had these chairs that were like compressing my stomach into my stomach. And so it was like... Ugh, making it even tighter. Anyway, so I would recommend not overdoing it on the food side before you go see a movie. Look at this random item I sold. I got this at an estate sale. It, I don't know, it just looked cool to me. Is it in focus? Yeah, look at this. So it is from, I think, cereal or something? Hold on, it's from Jolie B Fast Food B Mascot from the Philippines. So apparently this is some sort of fast food restaurant in the Philippines. Got it at an estate sale for a buck and sold it for $13.50 plus shipping. So that's kind of cool. And I got to the show, this trade show, and I think I, 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 I'm stuttering. I think I told you guys that there was like a presidential event where like the heads of Mexico, Canada, and the US were meeting up to have some sort of summit. And it was happening in the LA Convention Center, which is literally where I was. And it was kind of insane when I got there. I got there at like 11 a.m. California time and I'm trying to find my way into the convention center and I've been in that area before. Oh man, this thing's going off. This is uh, what is that? Miles something or other. Anyways, I've been there before and so I know the general direction of how to get to the convention center from the hotel and I start trying to go to it, right? Oh, okay, so it's not actually in the bin. It's labeled as I did find this though and I get like probably two messages a week from viewers uh, about this item and you'll have to just kind of figure out why yourself. Let's just say we got a bunch of comedians watching the show. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I don't see this item. I'm going to check this other bin right next to it, but I'm not hopeful. I've never even seen this item. I might have to recruit Tina for some help on that. Yeah, I don't see it. Okay, whatever. Well, anyway, so I'm trying to get to the convention center and every single way I go, I run into Secret Service. Like literally wearing badges that say Secret Services, a lot of them carrying big guns and stuff, and I'm just like, ah. Okay, so I finally found a way that I thought I could make it. It took me, so it's supposed to be a 10 minute walk. It took me an hour to get into the convention center because of all the security. And uh, is this it? Dance Dance Revolution X for PS2 sold for $7 plus shipping. Anyway, so when I finally do find a path, what am I looking for, 64 or 68? To get into the convention center, <laughs> I start getting accosted by a homeless guy. He starts following me. There's a lot of homeless downtown uh, Los Angeles. And so he starts accosting me and saying, hey, you got a real nice backpack. I was wearing my GoPro backpack. I had my laptop in it. He's like, can I see your backpack for a minute? I'm like, no. <laughs> and I'm like just trying to like run away from him and he keeps following me and it was, so luckily though, there was still a ton of security and secret service. So I just like ran towards one of them cause he was like following me, following at my heels, trying to check out my backpack, which was kind of weird. And uh, I did, if I didn't have my computer in it, I might have let him check it out, but I just like, you know, it's an expensive computer. Didn't really want it to get stolen, so I decided not to let him. What am I looking for? Now? Can't find this side of me there. What is it supposed to be? FL68. Oh, FL64. I'm in the wrong bin. That's why. Okay, so it should be up here. Oh man. Is it this one? Everything's a mess, guys. Everything's a mess. I think this was this. Uh, Supreme Commander Forged Alliance sold for $5 plus shipping. A lot of low, a lot of low dollar sales. Oh yeah, so a lot of people were mad at me in my comments for my last picker video. So I did a picker video where I bought the Top Gun soundtrack and some, someone's full collection of CDs. Her little son was there and he was like kind of floating around and he like pushed his little Batmobile towards me. All right, this is a Batmobile he pushed towards me. It's actually right here. And this is not like a high quality Batmobile. It feels like for toddlers. 
not worth a lot of money. I asked him if he was selling it. Um, and, you know, he's like, yeah, I'm selling. I was like, okay, what do you want, like a dollar? And he's like, yeah. And so I look at his mom, right? And his mom, like, nods and says, yeah, it's fine. And then I even ask her later, hey, is it okay if I buy this? She said, yes. But everyone's really mad. Hold on, I'm going to look it up because I haven't looked up the value yet, so I'm curious what it's worth. Everyone is really mad in my comments that I only offered him a dollar. But the whole reason I offered him a dollar is because that's all I was willing to pay. Uh, I just didn't think it was a very valuable item. Now, I could be wrong. It could be worth a lot. I'm looking it up right now. It is, uh, hmm, I don't even know what brand it is. It's just a Batmobile. Let me see. Hold on. Let's see if I can find a brand on it. It just says DC Comics SML. Okay, so here's an active one for 11 bucks. I don't see any solds at all. So this was kind of my, my prediction is, okay, this is probably like an $8 vehicle. I'll probably sell it on whatnot for like four or five bucks. And so $1 seemed like the appropriate amount to pay. But everyone's very mad because they think I, well, not everyone. I know that's kind of looping everyone into the same group. But a lot of the commenters were very mad on YouTube and Facebook saying I ripped the kid off and I should have offered him more money and blah, 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 blah. Like, here it is, sold $7.99 with Batman figure, okay? We all want to sell for $15.99, $14.99. It's just not a very valuable item, which is why I offered him $1. Didn't care if he said no. Was fine with not buying it. But he seemed excited about the idea of getting a dollar, so I bought it. What do you guys think? If a kid tries to sell to you, do you buy from them at a yard sale? Do you, like, overpay on purpose? I mean, there's been times where I've given kids a little extra money if I feel like I got a really good deal. I just didn't feel like a dollar was that much of an underpayment for that item because I know it's not valuable. Yeah, weigh in. Let me know what you think. I still don't know where Slaughterhouse. The DVD I sold was Slaughterhouse 5. Wait, and I sold the Briar Horse number 5 out of FL24. Uh, these haven't sold in a while, so it's nice to see one move. I have all these Briar Horses, and I have them each in a Ziploc bag because they all look kind of the same to me. And so by putting them in a Ziploc bag with a number, it makes it easier for me to figure out which one's which. I'm still going to need to put my camera down for this, so hold on. I'll be right back. This is at B12. I've got right on the label there. And so you can see, I mean, this thing is like all buffed up and messed up and it's got like markings on it, which is probably why it took so long to sell. So for $11 plus shipping, I did put in the comments or in the uh, description, I said some black scuffing on sides and back. See pictures for condition. So $11 plus shipping. It's all good. I'm in the profit on those at this point anyway, so no big deal. Wow, I'm surprised I sold these. These were a bad buy because they're so big and they take up so much space and they're worth like nothing. Uh, I went to someone's house, they were doing a yard sale where they're like selling stuff they got off an Amazon pallet. And uh, yeah, oh actually I have another one right here that's not listed. I'll take this one. Well, it's a little beat up. I don't know, I'll show you. Yeah, this is a little bent. So King Fit, these are like yoga blocks essentially. Uh, I don't really know what you do. Octagon ergonomic design, non-slip moisture proof. Oh yeah, see that lady? She's doing all sorts of exercise with it. So this is what's sold. I might try to dig out the real one. Uh, I have two of them. One was bent and one wasn't. Look at the pictures. I can't remember which one I took a picture of. If the picture looks dented, I'll use that. If not, in FL24. At the very bottom, I have another one. I just don't want to pull it out on camera right now, so I'll do that later. But yeah, those only sold for 10 bucks, and I think I paid, I don't even know, 250 a piece, I think, is what I paid. But they're so big and I just, you know, it's not really worth it to buy huge stuff that I'm going to make six bucks on. I did end up having to go to like two mixer type events uh, at this trade show. Definitely not really my favorite thing. You know what it is? You know, the thing that really drives me nuts is the music that's so loud that you can't hear people talking. That's what's really getting to me at these things. Hey, look, Elvis. I want to see that new Elvis movie. It looks really good. Um, what did I sell out of here? I sold something for not much money. Don't fall. It is a Babylon 5 something or other. Okay, so Babylon 5 card game sold to a viewer named Mark. And Mark asked if I could throw one of my new versions of my stickers in. No problem. This sold for $19, $18.99 plus shipping. Thank you, Mark, for your purchase. Um, but yeah, so... I don't, I don't get that. Like, you crank the music so loud that you have to yell to talk to each other. And by the end of the party, I'm like, my, my throat's hurting and stuff. Like, I just don't... <laughs> Call me an old man. I'm old before my days. But I just don't understand why people enjoy that. And uh, 
I don't know. I don't know. It's just not for me. It's too stressful. And it just is what it is. I will say this though. I had this breakfast burrito in Los Angeles and it was really good. It was like full of hash browns, bacon, avocado, eggs, cheese. It was quite a delight. I don't know anywhere I can get a burrito that good here in Florida, but maybe you guys know of a good burrito, breakfast burrito place. Ooh, heat certainly rises. It's hot up here. And when you come down here, it's like way colder. All right, I sold some LuLuRoe leggings, I think. Are these leggings? Yeah. They're blue and they're awful flip. Don't ever buy them. <laughs> I love how everything I'm pulling today. Don't buy these. Don't buy those. Definitely don't buy those. Sold them for $7.99 plus shipping. I mean, I'm almost through them and I'm not going to lose money on them when they're all sold. I'm just not making much. And they took, what? I got them in August of last year. So they've taken a long, wide, a long while to move. Yeah, I was excited about my sales goal in the last video where I talked to you about hitting my sales goal. But I, you know, I was in a rush because I was about to travel and I made the thumbnail with no words on it because I shouldn't have time. So I just snapped a screenshot of me like holding my phone. No one watched it. <laughs> and I think it's because the, the thumbnail was so stupid and it was like just a really cheesy face. And you guys were like, yeah, I'm not watching that, Dave. Good try. Um, so yeah, I mean, I learned a lesson. You definitely want some words and some context to what's happening on screen, and I will try to do better. Sniper Elite sold on Xbox One. Sniper Elite 3 for how much money? 10 bucks. That's not a bad one, actually, if you find it for a buck. It's a decent little flip. Okay, and then at a FL64, you know what? We'll pull that one out of my office here in a minute. Ugh. How is everything selling out of FL64? It's literally the worst located bin. I can't bring my ladder over here. I can barely reach it and <laughs> everything's selling out of there. That's typical. I gotta put my I gotta put my camera down. Hold on. I need both hands. Okay. This is a Barbie Kelly Melody doll. I bought this either at a yard sale for a buck or from Carrie's Whatnot auction. I honestly can't remember. Uh, but I did see in that bin when I was pulling that a ton of Hummels. And so this brings about the question. Should we be buying Hummels anymore? They really don't sell. Uh, I mean, they sell. You can go to the Souls and you'll see that they sell. But they're definitely not selling fast, and they don't sell for that much money anymore. I feel like maybe the generation that collected them is, uh, how do I say this, um, moving on. And maybe there's just not as much demand for them as there used to be, because I really, I mean, I have these Hummels all listed, and no one's buying them. No one's buying them at all. Let me show you what my dog did. I'm very mad at my dog, okay? We put her in Elijah's bedroom, because the girls were having a birthday party. And she was scratching at the door and stuff because she wanted to get out and we didn't know it. Well, I wasn't even here. I was in California. Tina was here though. They must not have heard her. She was scratching at the floor and at the carpet and check out what she did. Don't mind Elijah's disgusting room. Look at this. She destroyed the carpet in my son's room. And uh, that's very irritating. Bad dog. I mean, I'd rather not lock her up at all, but she jumps on little kids and there was a bunch of little kids here and we didn't want them to get hurt. So we had to lock her up. And yeah, that's frustrating. I don't know. I don't even know what to do about that. I mean, I honestly am tempted to just put like a little, a little carpet over it. I don't want to pay someone to come carpet my house. It's very frustrating. Um, maybe there's a way to like sew it back together. I don't know. For me, like the, the only thing I can think is that I have to replace that whole thing, which is like the whole runner upstairs and the bedroom upstairs. I don't know. Any carpet professionals watching? Marlboro hat is what I just went upstairs to grab. Sold that for $34 plus shipping. It's corduroy, snapback, so it's got all the stuff people want when they collect hats. And I'll tell you what, like when I was at this trade show, it became very clear that corduroy is in because I swear like half the people at that show were wearing corduroy snapbacks. Definitely be on the lookout for corduroy. Uh, at least in Los Angeles, it's super popular right now. I sold this, this is a piece of a Nerf gun, right? It's a Nerf and Strike Hailfire. This is just a thing that covers the bullets and I didn't want to sell the whole thing because it was huge. So I took it apart and I'm just selling parts. And just these two parts sold for $15.99 plus shipping. I think I paid two bucks for the whole gun and I've already sold some other pieces of it. So, you know, if you're lazy and don't want to ship huge items, that's an option. But yeah, I'm excited to be back. I mean, finally, I'm going to have some time to catch up on life and really get back into my groove. It's been a crazy couple of months with the Las Vegas trip. And then I got sick for a week and then another really inconveniently located bin here. It's just funny too, because Josh, 
from uh, what Harry Tornado and Caleb Phoenix Resale reached out to me and said, hey Dave, for FlipCon, they have me on a panel, right? It's in uh, Charlotte in August. For Flip FlipCon, we want you to be in the optimization panel. And I'm just like, optimization? I'm like the least optimized reseller that exists. The only thing I can think is that Josh and Caleb don't watch any of my content, which I can't blame them. I mean, they got other things to do, but I am not optimized as I spend 10 minutes trying to get this stupid thing out of here. Got it. Come down here, because that's where everything. Okay, so this is a Sensi. It's a purple Sensi. It goes like that. You put your wax in here, you turn it on, and it warms up the wax and makes your house smell pretty. And uh, that sold for $26, actually. That's a retired one, that purple one. It sold for $25.99 plus shipping, which ain't bad. But yeah, just catching up in general, I'm excited about. I'm excited about being home to catch up. Uh, I can spend some more time. I'm hoping to get back to three. I think I will with really almost no problem as long as I get sales, uh, which means I have to list. So that's kind of the order of operations. Start listing again, start selling again, start making three to four videos a week again for this channel. So that's kind of the, the process. Means I need to list some today, uh, which should be fine. Maybe I'll list while watching TV with the kids or something. I feel like I feel like an absentee father these last couple of weeks. I feel bad. Definitely got some dad guilt going on. That's the thing if you have kids, prepare yourself if you don't and you're going to. All right, so London Fog Jacket. I got this in a bag, uh, you know, buy a bag thing at a rummage sale and the bags were a dollar. I put a couple of these jackets in there and I already sold the other one a couple months back. Now I sold this one for 15 bucks. So, I mean, I think I got four jackets in that bag. So a really good deal. But yeah, I'm gonna have more time to do picker videos. So I haven't even been sourcing enough. So I've only been doing two picker videos a week. And now, you know, that I'm traveling or not traveling, I should be able to do a lot more of those. What is this? Pop Thorn. Really? I'm surprised this is an FL64. Let me look at it. Okay, we'll go check it out. I need to get into FL64. Again, the worst bin. I'm gonna bring the ladder and see if I can squeeze it. No, it's not gonna go. It's irritating. <laughs> uh, means I gotta pull it down again. Okay, I found it. And I'm also gonna have time to post more um, cooking videos and make more cooking videos. I have one more scheduled. I did one on Friday. It was the world's best biscuit recipe. And I have one scheduled for this Friday. I just need to add a thumbnail, which is, uh, world's best potato soup. So definitely if you like cooking, check those out. Um, but that's all I've got recorded. So I need to record some more, hopefully this weekend. My goal this weekend would be to get some cooking videos, some NC picker videos and get some listing done. So we'll see. This is Popthorn, Skylanders Swap Force. Is he really? Sw he doesn't swap though. He's not one of the swappers. Sold for five bucks plus shipping. Okay, so there's only one item I can't find and it's, uh, what is it? It's a DVD uh, called Slaughterhouse Five. I guess I could check this rack here. No, I don't see it there too. Uh, so I'm gonna have to go hunting for that. I actually had one of my orders, one of these, I can't remember which one it was, Messiah, I think. For some reason, uh, I sold it as I was on a plane on Wednesday going to uh, LA. Is sold and I had three day handling on, but this one said that it needs to ship by Thursday. It sold on Wednesday, it said it needed to ship the next day. So I don't know what happened. Uh, it's not shipped. So that's going to be a ding on my account. Hopefully. I mean, how many late shipments can you get before you start getting in trouble? Because this travel has been hurting me. I keep having these late shipments from weird eBay. I mean, I could probably call eBay support and say, Hey, I had it set to four days. I think actually I pushed it to four or five days. Um, but I had longer handling turned on and it tried to do one day handling. I'm trying to figure out how to go see Jurassic World. That is something we want to do because my kids really want to see it. And my uh, nephews and nieces want to see it. So I think we're all going to try to schedule a time this week to go, maybe one of the evenings. Uh, so we don't have to go during the weekend because I think it's going to be crazy crowded. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope it wasn't too boring or unenergetic. I, I am very jet lagged still. It feels like seven in the morning right now. So I'm just trying to wake up. But next one, we should be more alive and hopefully have a lot more sales. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, and we'll see you next time.